is just absolutely mental. Oh my goodness me. It's gonna be Erdogan who takes it. And he slots it in the net. And that's all. Have the lead here. This is mental. Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the adventure and today it's a big one in the Premier League. Crystal Palace take on Arsenal. Palace welcome Arsenal to Selhurst Park for their opening home game for the second consecutive year. Last year, Arsenal began their title challenge by beating Crystal Palace 2-0 on the opening game of the season at Selhurst Park. Tonight, Crystal Palace are looking for revenge, but the Gunners are looking to spoil the party for the second year in a row. But coming here to Selhurst Park is never easy. But who takes the points at Selhurst Park tonight? Will it be Arsenal or will it be Crystal Palace? Let's find out. If you guys are enjoying the vlogs, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And without further ado, time to head off to South South London for Palace versus Arsenal. Up the Eagles. Come on, Palace. Well, we've made it to Selhurst Park. First time that we've been in the home end and I love it. It's a really nice old classic ground and the atmosphere is surely going to be fantastic. I'm only two blocks away from the Homestead Fanatics as well. So I'm sure they're going to be loud and proud and behind their team. And Fancy and Palace for a result tonight is always difficult to play here at Selhurst Park. And Arsenal struggled in their victory last season, but were beaten 3-0 in the season before. Let's go Palace, come on. And out come Crystal Palace and they're hoping to cause an upset tonight. And out come the two teams, Palace and Arsenal. Going to a packed Selhurst Park. Look ready for this Monday night show now. <laughs> well, as the fireworks and fire comes out, the teams are ready, the fans are ready. It's going to be a great game. I'm ready for this one. It's Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Who takes this Monday night show down? the Palace, I'm getting behind you Eagles! And this is what it's going to be, look at this already! Oh my god, the Fanatics have got a sign as well! And look at this atmosphere, the game gets underway, this is the highlight so far! This is just absolutely mental, oh my goodness me! Oh my is going to take a corner, but this atmosphere is just ridiculous. This atmosphere is just something I've never experienced before in England. I was expecting an amazing atmosphere. In terms of the corner pitch, Arsenal have been good down this right hand side with Saka and Odegaard. Palace had a good chance with Ayu to get the ball in, but it was defended by Saliba. It's a really close game. Touching. Very cagey to say the least on the pitch at the moment. Great ball in. No seconds there. It's a good chance for Palace. Ramsdale did what he needed to do. Oh no, here come Arsenal. Anderson is going to get that. Arsenal is so quick on the counter attack. Palace, they look really good on the right hand side with Ayub. He's going to go for it. Oh! It's not far away. It's a great effort. Oh! The best chances have come for Palace. Ayub's cross. Arsenal takes it. Well, it's still a really intense contest here. Every time Palace get the ball on the right, they look dangerous, but Arsenal looking increasingly dangerous as well. It's a great game of football. Well, Arsenal just had the best chance of the game. It was brilliant work from Saka. He slipped it through to Nketiah, who was one-on-one, -on -one, but took it on his left foot. Anderson was breathing down in Nketiah's neck, and he hit him his left foot. I think Sam Johnston may have just got a fingertip of anything on it to divert it, to hit the inside of the post and go away. Best chance of the game, and it's come for Arsenal. Should be 1-0. Great tackle. Well, Nketiah's had another amazing chance in this one to sit up brilliantly played through for Havertz. But I think it over the top, he's got a score. And a bad for half. No action in terms of goals, but very eventful. Sure, out of the two managers, Mr. Hodgson will be happier than Arteta. But it is half time. Well, this is one person that's not had a good half, in my opinion, and a lot of the Palace's opinion. Referee feeling the wrap as he goes in for the half-time whistle. All right, half-time at Selhurst Park, and it is nil-nil. I'd say that scoreline uh, justified the play on the first half. Both Palace are excellent in the first half an hour, and then at, at 30 minutes, Arsenal kind of like switched to switch and just grew into this game and became the Arsenal that we've seen last season. And Kete having two sitters really, one on the inside of the post, and one that he should have put in that he put over the bar. Erdogan had a chance that was powered away from St. Johnson, but Eze and Ayu, but Palace's best. 
first bet on scoring. They've been so positive down the road with AM. It's been brilliant to watch, as has the atmosphere here in the Homesdale. Those Fanatics are fantastic. Let's hope they can have some limbs to get involved in and see Palace score the goal here. But Arsenal are looking increasingly likely that they're going to break down first. It makes for a great contest in the second half. Second half is underway. Let's have a good one. Well, that's a penalty for Arsenal. It was poor goalkeeping for Sam Johnston. Well, that's a definite penalty for me. I mean, it's a brilliantly taken free kick. And Katia on his toes, rounded the goalkeeper. Johnston brought him down. Decision penalty. So why is everyone cheering? I don't get it. It's a penalty. So why is everyone cheering? Penalty for Arsenal. They look like a certain one. Big moment in this game. It's not Saka. It's going to be Erdogan who takes it. And he slots it in the net. Have the lead here at Settlehurst Park. Great penalty from the Norwegian. Definite pen and tucked away beautifully by Erdegaard. 1 0 Arsenal and they deserve that based on the second half that they played. And uh, Palace haven't really got on the blocks so far. One more. Kick for Palace and it sails over 4 1. It's a red card for Tommy Asu. First yellow for time wasting and a second for a foul. Call from Arsenal. Now they've got 20 minutes with 10 men. How's that just opened up this game? Arsenal down to 10. They're completely on top of Palace. But that might be the moment that they need. He's usually a very consistent player. And Tommy Asu can't believe it. He is sent off for his first yellow for time wasting and then the foul. <laughs> Taken in, in it comes. Oh, it was bobbling and it's caught by Ramsdale. It's a good chance. That's one to scream it for a penalty on Eze. The ball has gone out, this will get checked. Well, in my opinion, in real time, but like a penalty. A very quick check, no foul from Partey. Well, I'm not sure who Crystal Palace have got on the bench, but Arsenal got Gabriel and Thomas Partey playing at fullbacks. At least one winger needs to come on the pitch and really take those those two players on because they're not recognised fullbacks, and that's a chance for Palace to get out the Arsenal defence. We've got seven minutes of added time. It's going to be interesting. Palace running out of time here. Will they get one more chance? Two to the back post. Had it back across. One more. Who's there? Goalkeeper. Dropped it. Oh! Mitchell. That's probably the chance. Mitchell flashed at it, didn't get his head over the ball, no composure, smashes it over. And that is that a huge important win for 10 man Arsenal. And he was exceptional tonight, Jordan Ayo. Absolutely exceptional. No blame him for being gutted. Full time then at Selhurst Park and it's Crystal Palace nil, Arsenal 1 and Martin Erdegaard penalty gave the visitors a massive 1-0 lead, a massive 1-0 win and it was Palace that switched off that caused the goal from a free kick that was taken quickly and Ketier latched onto it and it was a penalty as Sam Johnson brought the Englishman down which was tucked away from the Norwegian Erdegaard. I mean Palace created opportunities but they never really tested Aaron Ramsdale and to be honest they had a penalty shout that was turned away from VAR but what I can't understand is why Roy Hodgson left it for 85 minutes to put another winger on to take on Gabriel and Partey who were filling in at fullbacks for Arsenal. Well just imagine if Palace had Zahar and Elise today it could have been a different result but Arsenal hung on and got a massive win. The Palace players gave it everything today. The supporters were fantastic. It's just come up second there but the Arsenal fans are very happy and you can see the celebrations going on in the away end and how big of a win that could be. So there we go then, that is going to bring an end to the vlog. Arsenal found a way to win. Crystal Palace looked fantastic, but they just couldn't break through the Arsenal defence. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash a like, hit that big red subscribe button for more football adventures. It's a massive win for Arsenal and the fans know it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out from Selhurst Park.